Select File and New and notice the addition of the new PLD or Programmable Logic Design Schematic in Multisim. The PLD wizard is going to help us set up our schematic to export raw VHDL. Let's begin by giving our PLD design a name. You can then select I.O. connectors to generate VHDL code that will easily target boards such as the NI Digital Electronics FPGA board. Let's uncheck all of these outputs and inputs for the time being. You'll notice on the PLD schematic there's a PLD toolbar to place I.O. connectors and export raw VHDL. There's also a components toolbar to place PLD components. Let's begin this example by placing connectors on our design. We'll start with an input connector. We'll place this in the top left hand corner of our schematic. Next we'll place an output connector. In this case it will be an LED. It's important to note that at this point of the example we will not be using these connectors. However, we will see them used in a later, more complex example. We're now ready to start placing our logic. Let's go to Place and Component. You'll notice that we have a specific view to our component database, which contains 100 plus PLD components that have been added specifically to Multisim. They're organized into four groups, Sources, Indicators, and PLD Logic. Let's begin by placing a digital clock and follow that with the digital high. Next, we'll place an indicator to help us see as our logic goes from high to low. We'll place the red probe. Finally, let's access our PLD logic gates, such as buffers, adders, latches, and flip-flops. We'll be adding a two input AND gate. These components each have an associated SPICE model and a VHDL model. This means that we can both simulate its performance within Multisim as well as export its overall design and logic to FPGA targets. Let's wire up our AND gate to the inputs as well as the indicator and we'll see how the SPICE model works. First, we'll change the frequency of our clock to 10 Hz. Click OK and begin simulation. You'll notice that our indicator lights on and off as our clock goes high and low. Let's switch to a more complex example. This is a traffic light example programmed to show two traffic lights at an intersection. One is green and will count down from 6 to 0, turn yellow and then red, while the opposite traffic light will change green. This is a far more complex example. And what we're going to see is how we can now export complex logic to FPGA. We're opening up a hierarchical block, and you'll notice that we have an input tied into our logic, as well as an output. This design has been completed, so we're ready to export the raw VHDL associated with each one of these components to a target, like the NI Digital Electronics FPGA board. We click on Export, we'll notice the name that we're saving it to and click OK. Just like that, we've exported raw VHDL from a multisim schematic.